So a Windows hands-on here with the Chewy V i10. This is Chris here from techtablets.com. Overall, I've just started to use the tablet, run a few benchmarks already, and so far so good. I'm quite impressed with the tablet. Their build quality seems quite good. Now I know there's a lot of people who are concerned about the screen. They're thinking that uh, 1366 by 768 is going to be too low resolution. It's going to look crappy. It's going to be all pixely. Uh, well, it's not actually too bad here. Uh, we'll just increase the brightness because I didn't have it that bright when I first did the unboxing so I cranked that right up. The sensor is adjusting on the camera but it is quite a bright screen and it's not bad at all. That's the dullest setting there and right on the brightest to about here. Overall, I mean when you look at text and things, it's actually not that bad. You don't notice it unless you have it right up close to your face and you're going to be using it literally with the screen about 10 centimeters away from your eyes and you can see the pixels. I mean it is pixely, it isn't, it's not the sharpest screen because it's not a written display. So, but the viewing angles are good and the display is a Samsung panel I just found out looking at the hardware ID and the device manager. So it's not too bad at all. And overall, yeah, it's uh, quite a solid feeling tablet. I've run a few benchmarks here that I'll show you. So I know a lot of people do like to see that, how good it is at gaming because Lots of people like to play games as well as look at the internet, watch movies, things like that on it. So what I've done here is just run 3D Mark. You can see those scores there. They're actually really good scores for a Bay Trail Z37 36F. Not bad at all. And what's helping it is the screen. The screen resolution is going to make gaming faster at native resolution. So it's going to still look sharp and run faster. So that's going to be helpful in gaming, which I will be testing later on in some up and coming videos. What also helps with this resolution being lower, there's another positive, not just gaming, and that is that you don't get that horrible um, scrolling, or not scrolling, scaling, that's what I wanted to say, scaling, you have none of that. So if I run one that's really bad here is uh, HW Info, so if I just run the sensors here, just the sensors only. And if that is a high resolution display, that is hard to see because it's all scaled up really small there. So you don't have those kind of scaling issues there. That is the temperatures at the moment after running those benchmarks. It's been kind of idle, the tablet, so that's normal temperatures there. So what, what I benchmarked as well was the internal drive. It is a Toshiba eMMC. And this is the speed here they got, so it's not that fast at all. You can see that write speeds there are really quite low, 36 and 3. That's not that fast at all. So 3 megabytes per second. It's on the slow side. And you don't get a lot of free space too with the drive. You get only 10.6 gigabytes free when I first booted it up. And when you start installing Windows updates, I've disabled them at the moment, I've just stopped that. You're going to lose another gigabyte. Uh, before you know it, Windows just eats into that. So it's not ideal, 32 gigabytes and the speed. But you do have the micro SD card slot. Now the SD cards sit nice and flush in that slot, which is a good thing there. And the USB ports on the device, there's two of them. In fact, there's three of them because there's a micro SD port. That's the speed they max out at. This was using my SanDisk uh, Micro, sorry, my SanDisk USB 3 drive. This one right here. And these faster speeds I could get. So you're looking at, you know, maximum USB 2 speeds there. Not bad. That's fine. I mean, it'd be good if I had USB 3, but of course it's uh, not, don't think it supports at this chipset. So they'll be asking for too much anyway. What I also wondered is could I run two hard drives of that? which I'm going to test that now. So I have these uh, terabyte drives here. This is one here, it's a Toshiba. And I'm just going to plug that in and see if it can run that fine. Some tablets like the Teclast X98 Air 3G don't run these hard drives. They just keep, they need to be a powered USB hub because they just keep disconnecting and reconnecting. They don't have enough power. Okay, that's fine, that's opened it up. Now, can I run two hard drives at the same time? I mean, I'm probably pushing it now, aren't I? Probably too much of a uh, power demand there on the USB hub there, and something's going to go wrong. So I'm going to risk it and try it. Why not? And let's see. Mm, 
And yes, okay, so I have both of them there working. And so I have my Toshiba and the uh, Western Digital terabyte drive there is also showing up my passport. So I can run two hard drives there and I can open them up, look what's in the files there and move things around. There's not going to be a problem there. So that's really good. I mean, that's something that you can't really do on most tablets because, well, most tablets do not have two USB ports there, especially for a basically an entry level dual boot tablet. I could go even crazier now and try and connect up a third drive, so I'd be running three drives and see if I can just plug that in now. And also the, the plugs here, they're, they're nice and firm too, they're not all loose, they're really nice and strong with those USB 2 plugs, which is good. Okay, now so I managed to um, open that up as well, so not really an issue there, that's quite good. So I'm running three drives there. Off it. So using all of the USB ports there available. So I'll just unplug those now. So the other thing people like to see now is, is Windows activated, the big version that's on there. When I first unboxed it, it needed to be activated, so I needed to connect the tablet online, uh, which I've done now. And I can say that, happily say that, yes. There we go. Windows is activated, so that's really good to see. So there's no issues there, having licensing issues and having to try and get that enabled, talk to the seller, get them to send me another key that's actually gonna work. So I know that works, so that's good to see. The other thing too is the uh, device manager. A lot of people like to see the device manager, what's actually in there, so I'll just quickly show you that now. Just using the mouse at the moment so it gets my hands out of the way of the video. I have a tripod here in front, so it's sometimes a little awkward to touch the screens. So just go into the device manager here. And quickly just run through that. So the uh, disk drive, as mentioned before, is a Toshiba. Or did I mention that? Well, it's a Toshiba anyway, so it's a brand drive. And the monitor, the IPS display, is... Uh, a Samsung, surprisingly enough. I just found that out by looking at the, the hardware ID here. Hardware ID, monitor, and no, not from that value there. The CH001. What I used was HW Info, which gave me that information that said it was a Samsung. Well, maybe that's incorrect, but that code that was there for the device ID did pull up this same screen resolution, so I assumed, well, that must be what it is. But maybe that is actually wrong. So what else we've got in there? Network adapters, your standard, this card's in everything, literally, the Realtek combo chipset, so your Bluetooth and your wireless, which is 150 megabits per second, wireless N only, it's not dual band, so nothing flash there, but it does the job. And so we have yeah, the normal USB hubs there. Even though there's like USB 3s listed here, uh, there is no USB 3 at all in there. It's a bit of false hope there. Uh, the front facing cameras, uh, I think they're two megapixel camera and the rear one's the same. I haven't really looked at those yet in detail. And there, because the Windows button works fine. And overall, using the tablet, scrolling around, that's fine, it's fast, no issues there. And there's also the Geekbench score that I will show you right now. That's kind of a normal kind of score there for the chipset. There's nothing bad at all about that. I mean, it's a little slow on the slow side, but that is what it is, it's a bay trail. And I have seen slightly higher scores. We'll run that again just in case, we'll run it about a couple of, two or three times and make sure there was no problem there. So, uh, HW Info, yes, I've run that already. And of course, this down here is the logo, so if you wanted to switch over to Android, you can just quickly do that. But since this is just gonna be Windows at the moment, and this, all I'm looking at at the moment is just Windows, uh, I won't run that. Now, battery, early days yet, but this is kind of battery life that I'm getting estimated here, estimated battery lives of around seven hours there. So 
depends on what you're doing I'd say six to seven hours which isn't too bad at all for the tablet if I just go in quickly into Internet Explorer so it comes up with Bing because it's Windows Bing so that's something straight away that we're going to be using so just quickly load in a page and show you how that runs it's running a wireless keyboard too and the mouse through the little plug here I could use one of the USB ports but I saved them before for the hard drive test that I just did okay so here we have BBC's website a lot of images on there there's some video there too and that all seems quite smooth no issues there Let's see if I can just load in a video I don't have the fastest internet where I am it's a bit of a, of a rural area so don't get the high speed that I'd love to have. Turn the speakers are loud, you can hear them. Just adjust the volume. Sixty two percent at the moment. It's a hundred percent. Okay, there's no real sound there, just well, no music or anything like that. What I'll try and do is run an audio file so you can hear the speakers. So I just jump into desktop here. I think I dropped down an audio file. Here we go. So run that so you can hear that. So just turn that down. The speakers are distorting there on maximum volume. They are loud, but there is some distortion there. Okay, so 70%, anything higher than that starts to distort. But they are loud. They're not like the Chewy VI8 speakers, which were absolutely useless and horrible speakers that uh, just distorted and had really no volume to them so the speaker department has definitely improved and we do have the left and right speakers that are right here so you can see there's one of the speakers there, there's one on the other side and then we have the micro SD card that sits in nice and flush there it does sit in a little bit so I found without any fingernails it is a little bit hard to get in and out and then we have those two USB 2 ports there which really make this tablet quite an attractive tablet having that and the HDMI of course I will test that soon and these um, headphone jack here just make sure that uh, there's no buzz or static over that often these tablets do have a bit of a hiss and some noise over the headphone jacks which I absolutely hate I like clear audio I hate it when there's a bit of an interference or a buzz there so I will test that out and make sure that uh, I report whether it's present or not in my review because uh, it's Definitely something important. I think a tablet should have a nice clear audio there. You don't, last thing you want is to plug in a headphone jack and listen to your favorite tunes with a hiss or a buzz in the background. It's just, you know, it's horrible. I don't like that at all. So, uh, back looking at if I can jump into Internet Explorer because I haven't really got anything else installed here. So, if I jump back into Internet Explorer and just have a look around and see if I can see any other videos or something. Uh, maybe if I just jump into CNN. So, well, yeah, performance is is excellent. I mean, it's for what it is. It's for a bay trail, little chip there, two gigabytes of RAM. It's not bad at all. And so far, yeah, I'm impressed with this tablet. I think it's going to be quite a popular tablet. And Chewy are heading in the right direction because they definitely did all right, I think, with their VI8. It wasn't a high, super high quality tablet. It's only a budget tablet at the price point of 99 US. Now this is of course a lot more expensive, this is around about 170 at the moment. And it was on special for 149 so some people were lucky and managed to get the tablet for cheaper. Uh, lucky people, I did not pay that unfortunately. I wish I did. 
So yeah, performance and internet is, is quite good there. I'll just hit back there and it's a little bit slow there to load in. That's probably more my internet connection there. What I do is I'll just run task manager so we can have a look there and see what the CPU is doing, how the load is. So it's running at 52%. Um, actually, Internet Explorer is not responding, so it's actually just jammed up on me there. And oh, no, it is responding now. Held up by my laggy internet, maybe. And uh, 3D Max there running. So performance, let's take a quick look there. You can see, yeah, that's the atom there, the, the speed. Uh, memory usage, so 63% just running basically nothing. Well, I do have paint here for one of the scores for 3D Mark. Okay, so that's about it for this video. It's just a, an initial hands-on, a couple of benchmarks there, just initial first impressions of the Chewy VI-10. I will be running some gaming, I know, gaming videos. I know I've had some requests already for Team Fortress 2, uh, Do Dota 2, League of Legends, and Counter-Strike as well. So I will try and run those soon. i uh, just got a lot of tablets to look at at the moment, but what I will do is run those games, record a video as well so you can see what gaming is like on the tablet because it should be slightly better at least maybe you might be able to run some of those games in the native resolution so it'll look good, run a little bit faster because it, because it is lower it's a little bit easier on the bay trail there with the Intel graphics generation 7 there so you can run some of the older games good so I hope up and coming videos of that and more other just videos on general on the tablet and maybe a comparison or two, so do subscribe if you are interested in that and this tablet. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you did like it, please do give me a like, that is helpful. And hopefully catch you in my next video. Bye for now.